<laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co., where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an au fair crochet hook. Au fair. I keep on saying au fair. It's au fire crochet hook review. Now, I know I did a first impression of these when I first received them, but I know a lot of you were interested in them and knowing my full entire review on them. So that's why I'm doing like a full drawn out detailed review on these guys so this is not sponsored video <laughs> but she did give me a coupon code that i will share with you towards the end of this video so if you like crochet and yarn content make sure you subscribe to my channel also like this video share with a couple of friends oh and don't forget to follow me on instagram if you like my content and you want to support the channel buy me a coffee all right so let's get into the review when i do my reviews are really three things the first thing is how affordable are these can everybody get their hands on them are they accessible so is there stock are they always out of stock are people always waiting for them is there always a wait list two how it's made right the material the shape of it its functionality and is it a good crochet hook three we're going to talk about hand fatigue and we're going to talk about my actual experience and if i enjoyed actually using the hooks so let's get started today. these crochet hooks retail for $14.99 per hook or you can get a whole set which is $134.99 and the cool thing about this is if you message her you can actually get different colors in the set now a set includes four millimeter a uh, 4.5 a five millimeter a 5.5 a six millimeter a 6.5 a seven eight and nine millimeter hook which i think is a nice wide variety of hooks for any crocheter so the slim ergonomic design is perfect for both pin and knife holding crocheters the hook has a shorter shaft which allows for better control of your stitches it features an inline hook head which is perfect for both beginners and advanced crocheters but honestly it's just preference the deep seated throat on the hook prevents the yarn from slipping off your hook when you're working your stitches and the pointy tip allows you to easily insert your hook into your stitches one thing that i thought was really cool is that these hooks are uniquely handmade they are both poured and carved by hand and the colors are swirled to make these hooks that much more unique the hook style is very clean it's not too ornate to where it would be distract like the texture of it is distracting and that's what i like about it it has like um these carved details closer to the edge and closer to here which honestly i don't even notice and it's it's really nice i do like how oh you can't see on this one let me grab another one I do like how on the hook it is both embossed and painted in so even if the paint on it um, came off for whatever reason um, you would still have it carved in so you know what size the hook is. So now it's time to get into measuring them. The only sizes that I don't have is like a 9, an 8, um, a 5.5 I think and a 4.5. Those are the only sizes that I'm missing. So we're going to measure the sizes that I have. So this is the 10, the 10 fits, the seven fits, the 6.5 fits, the six fits. I have another six, so we're gonna test that too. That one fits, the five fits, this four millimeter hook fits. And this is the only one that was not fitting for me. Um, so it's supposed to be a four, but honestly, I think this might be a 4.5. So if you can see, let me do a close up. It's a four, but it's not fitting. I think it's probably better suited for the 4.5. So that's the only thing. That's the only discrepancy I found, but all of the other hooks were true to size. All right, so let's talk about how, when I tested them, what and how did I feel about them? These are absolutely gorgeous. They look beautiful being photographed so if you want really cute pictures for instagram or if you're doing youtube videos and you want it to be aesthetically pleasing she has so many different hooks that i don't have i mean the diamond hook that just came out 
Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for the fact that I've already blown my budget for this month, I would have purchased them. Okay. So when I did my trials with these, I used the only hooks that I didn't use is going to be the fours. Um, but I used all the other hooks in different projects throughout the two months. I think it's been a month that I have had these hooks. The one that I put through the ringer and did a whole entire project with was going to be the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So that's the one that I'm going to be giving most of my criticism about. One of the things that stuck out to me a lot with this hook was the deep seated um, throat of the hook. Um, one of the things that I do have in, in the past have had problems with with inline crochet hooks was that the throat of it wasn't deep enough and my hooks would constantly fall i mean my stitches would constantly fall off the hook before i was able to complete the stitch and that's one of the reasons why for a very long time i did not use inline crochet hooks i gave these a chance because they're so stinking cute and i'm glad i did because for somebody who has always been an in, uh, incline or tapered crochet hook user and then to have these, it definitely made me want to try other inline crochet hooks because maybe it was just the ones that I used at the beginning. So I crocheted with these with no hand fatigue for about three hours. Now I do have a knife hold. So um, if you don't have the right tension and anything like that, you can experience hand fatigue. But this, I didn't, I was crocheting for about three hours straight without even realizing it. and. This was really good. It's really good. So I wouldn't say I'm like a fast crocheter. Um, maybe faster than a beginner, but not as fast as like an expert crocheter. But I don't know, maybe it's just me, but something about these hooks kind of held me back when it came to really crocheting the way I wanted to. The reason I say that is because as I was crocheting, like I, this is kind of how I hold my hook. But as I was crocheting, because of the material of the hook, my hands were starting slippery, starting to slip closer and closer to the like the actual hook. And I was putting a lot of tension on here and I did not want it to snap. So that would probably be the only thing. I think because it's so slim, there's not really a clear like stop where the hand is and where the hook is. I think subconsciously I kept moving my hand but if I was going fast my my hand because this is such um a clean transition from the handle to the actual hook I think the closer and closer I got to actually snapping it with my man hand <laughs> and man handling this I, I came really close to snapping it and so this is how I like to display my collection of hooks um this is actually a makeup brush holder that I got from Amazon so I'll link that down below and these fit pretty much any crochet hook so I actually have another one back there that has my furls on it but it pretty much it, it's very gorgeous and I love <laughs> I love taking pictures of it. <laughs> so if you are thinking of purchasing this, it's down below my Amazon. Now we're getting closer to the end of this video and that is where I get to share with you the coupon code. So if you're interested in purchasing these, I will be linking the, I will be linking the website down below and you can get 10% off by using the code COZYCO at checkout. So that's going to be it today's video. Make sure you subscribe for more crochet hook reviews. If you can also comment down below, um, what are your thoughts about Ofire and the crochet hooks? Make sure to like this video, maybe even share it with a friend. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, create something gorgeous. Bye, guys.